WLAN networking introduction. Objective. Open cooperation of the cast. You will know, be able to summarize WLAN networking mood. The forwarding mood. And distinguish VLAN application in WLAN service. Content number one. The networking overview. So the picture here is showing one of the very simple network. Okay, the Soho network. The AP. Okay, this one might be one of the fat AP, so it doesn't require any controller. So this fat AP might connect to the ADSL modem, and including our PC. We can plug in the LAN cable to this AP to form the LAN connection. So enterprise networking mode. They're using the aggregation switch, access switch, and also many of the uh, fat AP. So this is a fat AP. It's not a fat AP. So because you notice here, they have no access control access. So when they have so many fat AP deployed in the enterprise networking, so they will have a lot of the overload. When you want to do the troubleshooting or you want to changing the VLAN and the SSID, so you might facing some problem to do uh, do the troubleshoot. So this is the reason why we need to have fit AP. So the networking mode, classified based on the network architecture between AP and controller, layer 2 networking or the layer 3 networking. The classification based on the location, inline networking and the bypass networking. So I believe the bypass networking will be the most common use for uh, the office building network. So the layer 2 network. The VIP and the AC is belong to the same layer 2 broadcast domain. Um, the AC here and the AP, they might connect through the same VLAN. So we call it as the layer 2 network. For the layer 3, VIP and the AC belong to the different IP network segment. The traffic between the AP and the AC is followed by the router or a layer 3 switch. So when we configure the different VLAN on the AP and also the controller, so we call this kind of network is a layer 3 network. Inline networking have to pass through the controller before they access to the network. So this kind of the network design we call as inline because you notice the uplink is on the AC here, the controller bypass. So right now the AC controller is attached beside our IP network. So call switch. Okay, so um, it's just attached beside. They're only using the cat web data to manage all the AP, but the user data can based on the forwarding mode that we select. If you still remember the forwarding mode, direct forwarding and the tunnel forwarding. So if right now we select the direct forwarding, all the user data can send to the AP and direct go to the network. It doesn't need to go back to the controller. Forwarding mode in introduction. The real packet including the control packet and the data packet. So we need to understand there's two different packet here. Control packet will be used by AC and the AP. The data packet is our user data packet. The forwarding methods of the data packet include the direct forwarding called as a local forwarding. Carab data forwarding or centralized forwarding. This is the first example. Inline networking. Inline networking with using the direct forwarding. After CapWeb is already established, so this green color dot is the CapWeb tunnel. When the user want to go to the network, they have to pass through the AP here, and then they can go directly through the AC, go through the switch, and reach to the gateway of the router here. Right here, the user frame when leave the AP. That's mean we're doing the packet capture from these places. So you notice right here, they'll show you right now the destination address, gateway okay, address. Okay, and then uh, the PC address. Okay, right now my PC want to go to this uh, gateway 10101151. So it's pointing to the uh, our gateway it's right here. So it's a switch. So my user will be directly go to the switch here. So this is the gateway. Okay, the gateway address. 
then the VLAN, what is my VLAN? So I will notice my VPC here, this IP address is belong to the VLAN 101. This is my IP address and I want to go to the 10.1.101.1, this gateway. Okay, this is my data, okay, A to G. In the data forwarding mode, the process is still the same. The only difference is the user data right now is using the cat web data. So all the user data have to go into the data first. So right here, they're actually inside the data. So at this moment, if you're going to doing the packet capture, and this is the information that you get. The man just right now, they already changed. They will show you. Right now, the connection is, uh, this is my source address, and my AP. This one, the source address. The destination address will be my controller. Okay, because this one is need to the form the cap data. You require that. So the dot one Q is nothing here. And then the source IP address. Right now will be the IP of the AP. Destination will be my controller. My controller is this. 10.1.101.100 Everything is in the cat web user data. It's already encrypted. So that's why you can't able to tell what's the information here in the cat web. Bypass networking. The AC is actually attached beside the switch. Just now the inline mode, you see no difference in between the direct forwarding or maybe the tunnel forwarding. The only difference you will notice there is just the source map address and also the IP address is different. In the direct forwarding, they have a big changes. When we configure in the direct forwarding, the user data will be able to send directly to the gateway without returning back to the controller. When you're doing the packet capture on this area, you'll notice right now my gateway is directly point to my call switch. Okay, this is my PC MAC address, and I check what is my VLAN that I'm currently using. PC MAC address here. And I will want to go to the call switch. This is my switch MAC address, the gateway. So they can go directly. So the data forwarding, you're going to force all the user data. Okay, this is the user data. They're running the, okay, running inside the camera tunnel. All the user data have to enter into this camera tunnel, return back to the controller, and let the controller help to forward to the gateway. When you capture on these places, what you can see is this information, the switch MAC address, AP MAC address. And then the source IP will be the AP IP address, and they try to go to the controller here. Okay, the information will be different. Management packet must be transmitted over cap web tunnel, and the service data packet can be transmitted over cap web tunnel or direct. So all the management packet using by the AP or the controller had to using the cap web tunnel. But for the user data, for those of our service packet, choose either we using the cap web tunnel or go directly. When an AC is connect in the bypass mode, the packet do not pass the AC in direct forwarding. The packet pass the AC in the data forwarding mode. VLAN application in WLAN service. The first one is management VLAN. When we're doing the configuration, please take note, what is the VLAN that you want to configure for your AP and also to your controller? Either using the same VLAN as the AP or maybe all the AP, including the AC, all in the different VLAN, service VLAN. So the service VLAN is one of the VLAN using by the guests. So you can create one additional VLAN and this VLAN will be using for the guest access. And one more is the user VLAN. So the user VLAN can be those of the, uh, maybe the staff VLAN or maybe the employee VLAN. So they have a different author, uh, authorization. The summary here. So I did explain what is the WLAN networking. And the last one is the forwarding mode. We have the direct forwarding and also the data forwarding.